Weather vane turns like it's new. Thank you kindly for that. My pleasure, Hal. You've helped an old man when others might not have, and I thank you for it. I must have something around here as a reward. If you don't mind, I'll just take that metal pin that was jamming the weather vane. Eh? Of course. Take it. Thank you. Why would you want such a thing? It might help Sandyman fix the mill. My, you're a boon to all the Shire. Just trying to help. Good day, Hal. Well, well, the mill wheel spins again. Thanks to Frodo Baggins, of all people. You've done me a valuable service today, Baggins. Why, thank you, Ted. Good day. The bridge to Bywater. The same path Bilbo took when he began his adventure long ago. Frodo? Hello, Angelica. We shall miss you terribly, Frodo. Indeed. You're going ever such a long way away. Practically to the other end of the world. Just the other end of the Shire. It's so far to travel. I hope you can return to Hobbiton one day. So do I. Goodbye, Frodo. Goodbye, Angelica. Frodo, have time to enjoy a mug with me? Hello, Sheriff. Just saying goodbye. Off on adventures? What? Adventures? I don't have adventures. <laughs> Why not? All the great dragons in hiding from the fearsome Bagginses. <laughs> don't worry, Frodo. It's just my little joke. Everyone knows you're a respectable hobbit. Unlike your Uncle Bilbo, bless him. Of course. Well, goodbye, Robin. Hello there, Master Gamgee. Well, hello, young Frodo. I hope my boy Sam does well tending your garden out there in Crick Hollow. Well, if he slackens, you be sure to send word to me. Your son's a very good worker, Master Gamgee. He's not but a ninny hammer. But you're kindly to take the lad with you. Do be careful out there on the road. I've heard tell of strange doings. Hungry wolves have been seen in the South Farthing. Or so I heard from Hugo Bracegiddle at the Ivy Bush Inn. Wolves? In the Shire? Well, that's what I says to him. Wolves in the Shire? My old dad told me those tales when I was but a lad. I never thought I'd see such times. I hope the wolves will leave as quickly as they came. Goodbye, Master Gamgee. Hello, Frodo. What took you so long? Did that sluggard Sam Gamgee forget to tell you that we'd be here? Never mind Sam. What brings you two scoundrels all the way to Bywater? Breakfast, though. Well, up to lunch now. Pull up a chair. You came all this way just for breakfast? Can't tell. It's a conspiracy. Don't tell him. Oh, too late. Our conspiracy is unmasked. May as well tell him everything now. Since you'll be walking past old Maggot's farm, we thought we'd have a go at his garden again. Three is company. Just like old times. Remember those mushrooms? I remember his ferocious dogs. I believe Frodo's afraid. Are you afraid, Pippin? I'm never afraid, Mary. Those dogs are all bark and no bite. Old Maggot threatened to show me their bite. Only because he caught you. Well, just be careful this time. Remember the smell of those mushrooms cooking? I do love mushrooms. Then it's settled. We'll meet you at Maggot's farm.
Hello there, Rosie. And hello to you, Frodo Baggins. I wish you fair weather for your journey. Um, where's Samwise? I'll catch up with him before I set out. You will return from time to time, won't you, Frodo? I surely hope so. Well, perhaps you can teach that Samwise some manners. What's he done? Nothing I've caught him at, but... He's likely one of those pranksters that have been ringing the Bywater warning bell with stones. If we ever need to ring the bell, Sheriff Robin may ignore it, thinking it's a child's prank. I'm sure Sam would never do that. Perhaps. Well, return as often as you can. Hello, Lobelia. Where's the sheriff? Where's that lazy Robin Smallborough? I couldn't say. Now about Bag End. Never you mind all that. There are wolves in the Shire. I'm sure the sheriff is keeping everyone safe. How could he? I haven't told him about the wolves yet. Go away, Frodo. I need the sheriff. Just ring the warning bell. If he's anywhere in Bywater, he'll come running. Don't just hang about then. Ring the warning bell. There. I've rung the warning bell. Now what's going on? I don't hold with reckless bell ringing. I rang the bell. Lobelia wants you to know there are wolves in the Shire. Oh, is that all? I've heard that rumor, but I reckon no one's seen these wolves. Not even Lobelia. Oh. If any wolves approach the Shire, the Bounders will chase them off. Just as they chase away foxes and such. I'm glad the Shire is well protected. Now if that's all, I've got a mug to return to in the Green Dragon. Someone finally came to his senses and rang that bell. Now we'll have safety and order in the Shire. I do hope so. Now then, what did you want to speak to me about? Make it snappy, I have a lot of things to tend to. It's about Bag End. You said you wanted to buy it. What? But I thought you were lying, you deceitful boy. I believe that when I have the deed in my hand. Did you bring it? Here's the deed to Bag End. Oh, I can scarcely believe it. The deed to Bag End? I shall need to remove a few belongings. I'll leave the Bag End key with Master Gamgee of Number 3 Bagshot Row, if you don't mind. What? Gamgee? That dirty potato grubber and his son might plunder all of Bag End in the dead of night. Good day, Lobelia. Yes, yes, a very good day indeed. My sweet little Lotho will be so happy. Bag End at last. Oh. Why you consort with that kind, I'll never know, Frodo. Having farmers and dwarves and wizards for company, and never inviting your own flesh and blood to tea. Honestly. I'll miss the next farmer's market. This square will be brimming over with the freshest crops. Hello, Noakes. Good to see you up and about again. I thank ye. I'm fit as a horse again. Folks will be calling me well-preserved, like they do your Uncle Bilbo. Bless him. Glad to hear it. Why, it's this new herbal tea I've been drinking. Good. Well, I'm off to... My old bones ain't stiff and sore. And that's a fact. It's a wonder. That must be very special tea. And now I have to... Not special at all. The herbs grow wild in the Northlands. Parsley, pine needles, and king's foil. I had four bundles of herbs, until that Sancho Proudfoot took them, scattered them all about. Perhaps I can help.
Hello there. Good day, lad. You're a Baggins, ain't you? Bilbo? Frodo. Frodo Baggins. Live in that grand place atop the hill. Bilbo's place. How have you been, Bilbo? Frodo. Frodo, right. Well, not time to chat. I'm off to Bray on an errand for Ted Sanderman to get parts for the mill. Haven't you heard? The mill is running again. What luck? Did Sanderman fix it? I found the pin. So I've you to thank. And thank you I do. Happy to help. Well, I best be getting back to the mill, Bilbo. Sanderman will want me working, not strolling around in the countryside. Here's one of those packets of herbs Noakes spoke of. I wonder what broke this fence. all this racket? That would be me, sir. Well, well. We have a burglar in the fields. Burglar? All done with your mushroom thieving? Or would you prefer to take it up with the lads? No. I, I mean, right you are, sir. Now off with you, or I'll have the lads dispose of you proper. Wolf! What 
What's all this racket? That would be me, sir. Well, well. We have a burglar in the fields. Burglar? All done with your mushroom thieving? Or would you prefer to take it up with the lads? No. I, I mean, right you are, sir. Now off with you, or I'll have the lads dispose of you proper. I played my share of pranks when I was Sancho's age, but I never took an old man's medicine. <laughs> <laughs> 